I love my job and I love what I do and I care mm -hmm. um, for the, the patients that we take care of every day. That's why I've been doing it for as long as I have. So personally, to not be there um, doing that, what I've been doing um, all these years, it does put an impact in, in my life um, financially. Mm -hmm. It would be an impact. Yes. Is that what you're trying And emotionally. To? Emotionally. I, I mean, well, I... No. I guess, yeah. Uh, financially, it would, it would impact my... My family, we too use the hospital, you know, personally for services, um, or for patients sometimes as well as employees there, so. Um, That's what I was looking, I mean, yeah. because I think sometimes people don't understand when you go on strike, what that means That's for not, you. Right, it's, it's not, not like you're taking a vacation. About, right. Right. <laughs> right. No, I mean, this was an extremely hard decision for people to make. It's, it is, because I do care about what we do every day when we go in there and we you know, give 110 percent every night when I'm at work and um, <laughs> And I, again, I think that, you know, there's some time, hopefully, if the employer comes back to the table and negotiates in good faith, we've been committed, the members have been committed, the bargaining committee committed to reach a settlement. Um, we're committed to do that. The behavior of the board members and the CEO at the board meeting where you went to was, was pretty obnoxious towards the union. Um, I assume from kind of what you've said that's been their behavior bargaining sessions too. How do you deal with that kind of mentality when you're trying to bargain a new contract? Uh, it's extremely challenging. Um, I'm not sure how we've done it. We have made some progress early on on some of the non-economics um, that we proposed. Um, and it was extremely difficult. We had to continue to ask them what were some of their concerns, uh, how do we address those concerns, because we knew that when we we're not going to get everything we want, and if there was some legitimate reason why they would reject it, um, we would obviously go back to the drawing board and try to redo our proposal to get closer to addressing their needs as well as ours. Um, but in fact, I think since we got into our economic uh, proposals, uh, most of the time we're not in the room together. You know, it's like we, we give them a proposal, uh, we might have a short discussion, they take a caucus, and then they leave. <laughs> have they proposed any, you know, substantial contract to you, say this is what we want? Have they done that? Well, yeah, they've said we want to take, you know, they're proposing to take away the members. You, you, I mean, I think the members could talk about that too, take away their uh, secured pension plan. That's really doing well financially. It's not underfunded. Um, they're trying to increase the health care uh, cost by 400% in deductibles, double in their contribution towards it. Members already pay. They're willing to pay their fair short share, but it's the, what they're proposing is extremely out of sight, something I've not ever seen. Um, and they've offered a one-year contract with a 3% wage increase. So we would be getting back to the table here and what do you... <laughs> Less than a year. Yeah. How long a contract are you uh, looking for? What would you like in terms of, of number of years of a contract? I think Linda can answer that. We were hoping for a three-year contract, if not two at least. But well, three, I think, is, gives us some stability and security. Years past, we've gotten, we tried for a three-year contract. Do you think the fact that the hospital, the medical center is now owned for this large for-profit kind of national corporation is complicating matters uh, as opposed to being maybe a locally owned community hospital I, I as it once that, was? Well, I, I truly believe that people in the, the upper management in Tennessee don't, they are not aware of what the Pottstown area needs and, and, and has to have to uh, survive and I mean they're states away so I do believe that being a corporation, that they are the size that they are and the location being not here locally, that it does make a, a difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. I really, really appreciate it. And what paper are you from? With Mercury right now. Oh, the, oh you're with the Mercury. 